Hey guys, today we're back in a 2022 Infiniti Q50 Red Sport 400. This is the all-wheel drive version. It has a three liter twin turbo V6. It makes 400 horsepower. That engine is mated to a seven speed automatic. We drove one of these about a year ago and had some driving impressions, had some thoughts. Let's walk you around this one today. We'll show you what it looks like inside and out. This Q50 Red Sport costs about 60 grand in all-wheel drive form, just under about $59,000 with destination. So kind of a pricey proposition if you look at it compared to the sum of a competition, but um, it's still for sale and uh, kind of has a neat mid-20 uh, teens vibe to the interior. We've got this dual screen layout, uh, nice leather, nice materials all throughout, but definitely due for a refresh one of these days. This car looks pretty good, painted in what's called dynamic sunstone red. Beautiful color, picks up the light really well, looks great on these graphite wheels too. We have bright red brake calipers, lots of blacked out accents in the front grille, black mirror caps. That's carried over into the window trim here with kind of a smoked dark chrome. Looks pretty sharp, especially in contrast to the white interior. I don't have a spec sheet of Monroney on this Q50S, but I assume this has the performance exhaust. I don't know what steering rack is in this car, whether it's the steer by wire or the traditional one. I think it just feels like a traditional E-Pass system. Pretty good looking car, nice proportions. Back seat is reasonably spacious too. Had my son's rear facing child seat in here earlier this week and it fit great front passenger seat was able to sit in a pretty comfortable position. Headroom's a little bit limited in the back of this Q50, but I'm five foot 10, seated behind myself. I'm pretty comfortable. Of course, stadium seating, and I can see pretty well over the driver's seat. Got a couple USB ports, rear climate vents, little cup holder situation back here. Lots of nice carbon fiber accents throughout this Q50. Kind of a tiny trunk. Don't know. Nope. No room for a spare tire with all the all-wheel drive running gear back here. Fold down the rear seats, pulling these two levers. Let's pop the hood. Look at this three-liter twin-turbo V6. Pretty familiar looking powertrain. Makes good power, gets decent fuel economy considering this is a four door all wheel drive sedan rated for 19 in the city, 26 on the highway. 400 horsepower, a pretty decent performance sedan by used. Pick one of these up for 30 grand or so. Has a very good warranty. I believe a four year, 60,000 mile basic, six year, 70,000 mile powertrain warranty. Infinity's done their best to keep this interior fresh and update it as much as possible. Again, we've got this dual screen layout, which is a little bit funny, but you do get used to it. Uh, we have lots of quick access controls here for CarPlay, Android Auto, various information screens, driving assistance. Change all of your driving assistance settings right here very quickly, that's nice. Sometimes I do like these dual screens because you can see your infotainment, your car play up here, and then some other controls down here. Pretty basic gauge layout here with a center digital display. This button on the left doesn't really seem to do or control anything. Here's our reverse camera showing us our 360 view. Kind of a tiny display. Oh yeah, <laughs> this also has a uh, parking brake down by your foot. It's a foot pedal on and off, like an old minivan. Nice visibility all throughout. All right, let's take this for a drive and see how it feels on the road. We have a few different drive modes, Eco, Snow, Standard, Sport, and Sport Plus. And there's also a personal setting where we 
we can change a few parameters. We're probably just going to leave it in sport for most of this drive today. Stiffens up the dampers just a little bit. Keeps our revs a little bit higher. We have paddle shifters behind the wheel. Not much to hear from that 3 liter twin turbo V6. It stays pretty quiet in this car. It does have some pretty good performance though. Beeps when you put it back into drive. You hold a paddle. Just this morning, this little creek appeared in the dashboard. Murphy's Law right before I start filming, of course. But otherwise, this interior feels pretty well screwed together. Very solid. Switch gear feels nice. Just looks and feels a little bit dated, but that's okay. Rides a little bit firmer in sport mode. Let's put it back into standard. Suspension smooths out a little bit. The seven speed auto is very smooth. Shifts are pretty imperceptible when you're just driving around casually. this up into sport mode. You can hear some enhanced engine sound there. Sounds a little bit like the VQ in the 370Z. Kind of an artificial digital sound. at speed. Pretty easy controls here to set your following distance with adaptive cruise control. This Q50 has the Bose Performance Series sound system. While we're cruising here, let's just do a quick sound system test. Sounds pretty nice. For the era that this was made in, or developed, one of Bose's better systems for that time period. Steering is about as numb as it gets. But I do like the gear spacing from the seven speed auto. Once you rev it out, enjoy the engine just a little bit on the street. Paddle shifters wake up the transmission on demand if you want to play with the gears a little bit. And it is quick. There is some good performance here. bad about that rattle. That literally just started this morning. All week I've been driving this round. It's been pretty quiet. Got some pretty drastic changes in humidity and temperature this week, so probably coming from something in the carbon fiber. Who knows? Bring the 
this down to sport mode. Let's go into Sport Plus here, do a quick launch. Ooh, it's not happy about brake boosting. Let's just go from a dig then. Yeah, a little bit sluggish off the line. It feels like it's kind of holding back power to save the transmission and all-wheel drive system. And the seven speed does do a nice job holding gears letting us ride out that torque from that twin turbo V6. quick in a straight line. Definitely not a uh, 9 or 10 tenths car. <laughs> Steering went all wonky around that corner back there. <laughs> As a fast, sporty sedan to cruise around in, the occasional pull here and there, it's all right. These seats are ultra comfortable. I'm sure they inherit some of Nissan and Infiniti's zero gravity tech. Very relaxing. I could spend hours in this driver's seat. Created a lot of buzz, a lot of excitement when it first came out. I think Infiniti could have done a little bit of a better job to make this a nicer driver's car. It compete a little bit heavier in its class. I'm very curious to see what the next generation will bring if they take some of the tuning that they did in the new Nissan Z and apply it to this Q50. I think they'd have a winner on their hands. Alright guys, thanks for watching. That'll be it for this one. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.